After the last few days of exploring and looting, I'd say we're pretty much all set on weapons and armor for now. So instead of hunting down mutants and cannibals, I'd like to stay at home for the next few days. There's much to be done around the base, so I'd like to start with a huge expansion project on the house, and after that, I'd like to reimagine the defensive wall. Autumn is approaching, so hopefully we can have the base up and running by winter. So let's begin. Hey, how's it going everyone? Welcome back. So in between episodes, there were a couple of changes. Uh, there was an update to the game, which includes... Oh, this needs to be repaired. So, first of all, we can um, put a lock on these little doors like this. As soon as I get it fixed, I think. Here we go. And then I can just hit E to lock and unlock the door. That is a welcome addition there. Also, we have the ability now to make gatehouses. So let me just rip this off and see if I can put a door in right there, I guess, for now. And we'll just see how it works. Uh, ultimately, today, what happens? Okay, just press E. Uh, ultimately, what's going to happen in this episode is, number one, we're going to do some major renovations on the house. A big expansion project. I'd like to increase the square footage by about... Uh, four times, I would say. And then the other big thing I want to do is probably going to take this thing apart here because it's just not uh, working out the way I would like. I'd like to set up a wall kind of like this here, but all the way around the base. And we'll kind of expand it out a little bit further to about this line right here, I would say. And then we'll loop it back around over here. And I'll probably put a back gate, maybe similar to what we had going on over there on this side. All right, so enough jibber jabber, let's get to work here. To start things off with, I wanna do the big house project. And in order to start doing that, we're gonna have to get some logs, lots and lots of logs. And in order to make sure that we have plenty of room for the logs, I'm going to expand the log storage around the back of the building. <laughs> okay, there's, there's an extra, what is that? An extra five log storages around the back. So we're up to nine total. And uh, I think what we'll eventually do, my plans for this base, I'm gonna get multiple zip lines coming in from the surrounding hillside so we, we can get lots of logs over here. And then eventually I'm gonna make a zip line that goes all the way up to the glider. I don't know if we'll have time to do that in this episode, but there's a glider kind of like straight that way. If I pull up the GPS, I might be able to see it. No, in fact, I, I don't think we will, but it's like, it's pretty far away. Oh, and by the way, Kelvin is halfway across the map. He'll be joining us shortly. Oh my. I just uh, was chopping some logs here, and we got a baby attack of all things up here on the hill. What the hell, man? Get out of here. We we'll use logs to kill them all. Is this going to work? It's working so far. Oh, I've... Someone, probably me, I think I took out the zip line. We'll have to reset that in a second here. Virginia, help me with these damn babies here. There you go. My first baby attack. I feel honored. Oh, crap. Man, it's, I think it's my first time testing out this um, golden armor. And yeah, I don't know if I like that or not. I think my strategy would be to wear the golden armor until it becomes an issue where I'm like really low on health. And th at that point, probably put on the regular armor. Does that make sense? You can like tank the hit points and then you put the other armor on and um, all of a sudden, you know, they can't do any more damage to my health. They got to burn through the regular armor. I don't know. To be determined. We'll play around with it some more as we go along. All right. I'm at like 27 logs on the screen right now. So I'm going to log until I get 50. I'm going to send them all home and then we'll rest for the night. Probably just pick things up in the morning with a full set of logs down there at the base. <laughs> this is great. Love this. Oh, we did have a cannibal come over here. Actually, it looks like several of them and die. At least two of them. I'm just gonna yank up their corpses from over there <laughs> and set them over here on the fire. Huh, well, maybe that's gonna work a lot better than I thought. So I'll reconsider keeping that once I get a sense of what happened in the morning. Hello, Kelvin. Welcome back, my friend. Are you gonna just clamber in here? Probably not the best way to go about it, but um, okay having a snack on something. I hate to know what he's eating with all those dead bodies over there. All right, well, breakfast is on the fire. Kelvin's working on getting some more fish so I can fill up the drying rack. Virginia's just chilling out and I have successfully ripped off the entire top half of the house here. And the reason I did that is because we're gonna rearrange the rooftop because I'm going to extend the house way out in this direction. So as soon as breakfast is done cooking, we'll get started. Thank you, Kelvin, doing great work. We'll put him to work on more important tasks a little bit later on. For now, 
Let's get this thing framed out a little bit. So what I'm doing here is just extending the side, the left side of the house here, out by two sections. And this is going to be like our storage area. We're going to have just a storage shed out here on this side. Then I'm just going to start getting rid of all these half sections that I took off the roof just to kind of get them out of the way and set them down for our porch in the front and set a floor down for the storage area to the side. And now I'm just going to start framing up the roof section here so that we have a nice slanted roof over our heads. Got to keep our storages dry, you know, we don't want to get wood rot. All right, I'm kind of wondering if that would be enough right there. In fact, I don't even think that I really need this section right here because this is going to be like a two by two storage right here. And then we'll have a two section wide kind of covered porch section here. And then I think, I don't really know what we're doing with this section here. Let's just start building the rooftop and see how it all shakes out. That. you can kind of see how all this is working quarter section half section three quarter section and we'll go back down to a half section on that side or we could just go straight to the bottom is that what would that look like i think that looks uh rather weird though so i'm gonna go with my original plan and do i think it's gonna be a half section there on this end here i have a couple down here we can just throw up there to see what it looks like Yes, just like that looks much, much better like that. And, and then it'll just kind of slant down all the way to the end that way. All right, there's a lot to do. Let's get to it. Yeah, see, Kelvin, Kelvin cannot handle this right here, unfortunately. Even though the door is open over there, uh, I was thinking maybe let's put a door in right here so he can get through here. Uh, man, yeah, this thing's going to have to go. Go ahead, Kelvin. Ooh, that's uh, maybe not too bad. Let's just... Let's just roll with that. I'm not sure if the cannibals can fit through there. I can't even fit through there, so yeah, we'll see. Okay, now that I've I've made it this far, I'm noticing that this is going to be a problem here in the front because we need to slant the roof down this way. And I think I can do that from these two, but not from the middle. So I think. What I can do to fix that is just take this apart and I'm going to have to chop, what is this, a three quarter? We're going to have to go with a half and then a quarter on top of it, right? I can do a half and then we get a full log, drop that down for this roof section and then we get the quarter. Is that not going to work? Maybe I need to kind of frame it out first. Try that. And yes, that's going to work, I think. And can I now take that off? I can. That is helpful. Give me that. And lay that back down. Yeah, I think that's it right there. Let's just maybe put this in. See how that looks. Oh, that's flushing up pretty well. I do like that. Okay, here's a here's an experiment right here. Let's try... I want to see if I can get this central beam out of the way here. I don't know if I can do that or not, though. Uh, what's what's the what's the play here? Do we do? Yes, we got to do this across the top. Give me two half sections. And right, can I just can I prop this up? Can you can you get that? There you go. Nice. Same thing there. <laughs> just toss that up there. And then is this? Can I disassemble all this? Whoops, making some mistakes here. All right, slow down. No hurry here. Can I get this off though? No, I can't. Why can't I do that? I really thought that these struts here would support the main beam up there, but that does not appear to be the case. This is definitely not not letting me take these things apart. And if I if I chop it, I think everything will just come crashing down, right? I can't even chop it. All right, put a pin in that one. We'll revisit that one later on. For now, let's just get the roof on here. And we're going to be running out of logs here real soon, so we'll need to make another big logging trip. Yep, that's it right there. Like, put the struts in here at least. This will free up a couple of logs for us.
All right, quickly then, it is 15.15. Let's get some logs before we lose the daylight. All right, I've drug over a new zip line from a new logging area up on that hill. We're gonna see if we can just connect it. Probably about right there would do it. Can I access that from here? Yes, nice. Might hit a tree. We'll just chop it down if that's the case. Oh, 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 jeez, freaking slinky monster. I don't mess around with slinky monsters. Die! It's two hits in. Well, that was a miss. I think I got the slugs in, maybe. Not sure. Prefer the slugs because they suck, so if I can get away with using them, I would like to do that. What was that, like five hits? And was I using... Yes, I was using slugs. So if anything, the golden armor is a good adjunct to the regular armor because, you know, you can just wear the golden armor when you can get away with it. And then when you really need it, put on the good stuff. All right, that'll do it for one trip. I think I probably filled up most of the storages down here. Let's just check and see how it turned out. Yep, they're not, they're not like all flowing into the log holders, but um, I built these mostly because I'm gonna connect another zip line from this end over there somewhere. So what we could do is we could do what we just did there, fill up this side, and then go over there, log there for a little bit, fill up this side, call it good, and we're done. I don't think we're gonna need a whole lot more in terms of logs here at the base anyway, because I'm gonna tear down the defensive wall to make the new wall, and I think we'll get most of the resources we need for that project from the dismantling of this section. Just working on uh, filling in the rooftop sections here, trying to get this all done, that way you don't have to worry about that anymore. Oh, we got an attack here a little bit. Hello there. I like to use the spear. Oh! Oh, don't break stuff. That's bad. Oh, I can hear Virginia shooting off in the distance, too. There you go. That's one down. Yep, we're gonna need to do some repairs around here. It's easy to repair, though, so, you know, there's that. Oop, skin pouch. Look at a bunch of wounded cannibals. There we go. All done. Oh, crap, it's raining, so I don't have a fire. All right, I think I've had enough for this day. I'm going to bed. Okay, so for the back, let's just maybe start in the middle here. I'd like to put a little bit of a fence in, just to kind of, you know, designate this as like a, an, an enclosed area, I guess. I think it's gonna take maybe three to get across here. Is that, is that gonna be the case? No, it's, it's gonna be weird. We're gonna have to like start it there. Okay, what's that gonna look like? That's looking pretty good. I like that. I gotta do that over here too. So something that uh, I've just recently discovered, I don't know if this is new or not, is that you can actually pick these up and move them. I think that's new. I think I read that in the patch notes. But I'm just gonna set these over here now. We'll do like rocks on one side. Is that gonna be relatively lined up properly? I think that's fine. Oh crap, I think we got somebody outside here. Oh, you again? Man, these guys are just freaking terrible. I hate these things. Nope, oh, look out. Don't get caught in the crossfire here. If you can help it. I should just give her the shotgun. She's probably better at it than I am. You get to have the shotgun and hopefully they said in the patch notes that they fixed the whole like, you know, attachments being on the weapon. So yeah, go ahead and toss that over to her. Hopefully we'll find another one. All right, I would say that that's a pretty good stopping point for our little home right here. Although now that I'm looking at it, I don't quite like how the roof is kind of slanted on the, the awning here so much. I need to fix that. It's gonna be a huge project to do that though. Okay, well that took a rather embarrassing long time to make, but it's done now. I think there's a pretty good possibility we could kind of do the same thing coming off the other side, or at least like I have a partial patio over here so it kind of wraps around completely, but that would be a project for a different day. I'm kind of eager to get this over with. And I think that gap actually looks kind of cool, almost like if you were to have a fire in here, it would just be to let the smoke escape. No, 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 you're not allowed in here. What are you guys doing here? Oh, big man's here. Okay, well, 
In that case, I'll take the one that I have, and we'll... No, 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 no. I can't have that. Oh my goodness. Brutal death there. Virginia, do you mind? Really? I've given you all the good guns. Man, I really wish that she would just give me some suppressing fire here. Take that. Oh! Ouch. That hurt. Oh, she saved my life, though. Finish you off, and we're done. Who's breathing heavy out here? I can hear a cannibal. Was that you? I just picked up his head because uh, I think you can put heads on a shelf, can't you? That's it. And then, can I put the heads on here? Oh, I can actually put stuff on here. Even skulls. What about raw heads? Can I put raw... Oh, I can put the head on there. Nice. We're gonna start a head collection. Okay, it's sort of starting to get late in the day, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna start my project of getting a... Yeah, see, that looks a lot better now. I'm gonna try to get my zipline system set up into the mountains. I think we can probably start with this one right here, and then, you know, eventually, maybe I'll see if I can get something more permanent set up. You know what I haven't done, though? I haven't actually experimented to see how far can I get a zip line to go. Yeah, so we got this nice high point right here. We could maybe put a zip line from here to the base. Do you think that that's possible? Like, right from uh, this section right here, then we could kind of stop by here and resupply on rope every time we go through. Keen on trying this. All right, here we go. So worst case scenario, we could just go from there to here. But I want to see if I can go all the way down. Nope. Nope, it just uh, disconnected. That's unfortunate. That's okay, though. We can just go from the checkpoint up there. This one to that one. If I can do it from way down here. Nice. Wow, just an estimate here, but it's only been two zipline sections from our base to here. And we've got, like, so far to go. This might take, like, ten zipline ropes. I'm okay with that, though. All right, Twins is up there chasing me, so I'm heading back home. It's too dark for this. I'll revisit that project another time. All right, fresh new day, and it's early, so let's get started here. Instead of finishing the zipline project, I'd like to get it at least started here on the wall fortification project. So, oh, if I just take that off, that is no longer a door, is it? That's an interesting thing. All right, so it's all gonna start here because I'm gonna use snap points, hopefully, to make the entire wall. And hopefully we don't get raided because I'm about to start tearing things apart. Okay, so here's a good start. I think we will just kind of continue with what we had going on right here. So set that down. I'm gonna make like a star fort. That's been like my dream for the last week or two is to see if I can actually make something that's um, jagged like this, like a star fort. I mean, it's not going to be much of a star, it's going to be kind of circular, but I don't know what else to call this sort of, uh, oop, skin pouch. This sort of a, like, a defensive wall design. It should give us a lot more real estate, because, you know, eventually we should probably make, like, a secondary building that's just for, like, maybe resource storage or something. I don't know, I haven't quite gotten around to what else we can put down here yet. Okay, here's where we're going to have our first issue, though. That, um... The terrain elevation is going to be a bit of an issue. Yeah, so one way to fix that would be to get a quarter piece, set it here, and then just start kind of continuing along like that. Not sure, I can't really think of any other way to correct that. And now we've got to switch it back this way. You know, that might probably present a bit of an issue when we're going back down the slope over here. We'll see how that all works out over there. And, oh, it's... Starting to look like my logs are getting buried here. Yeah, and we're gonna have to go up another block to kind of get all the way over there. Wow. All right, well, let's see what that looks like then. Oh god, baby attack! Great! Wait. Let's try the katana for this attack. Oh man, the babies kind of just get right in here, don't they? Get out of here! Oh, they can't get over these little... It's not even, it's not even a quarter wall. Oh my god, they're doing some damage though. See that? I just did, like, if you double-click the block button, it actually does, like, a parry attack. I'm not really sure. I haven't I haven't mastered it yet, but let's, let's just keep trying it. Whoops. Just double-tap the block at just the right time. And parry attack. Nope, it didn't do any damage. But it blocked, at least. Two baby attacks here in recent days. Not too bad. Oh, you know what maybe we would have to do is, um turn this into like a tower right here. How cool would that be? 
We'd have to kind of get the, the lengths of the logs right before we start doing that, but something to think about at least. Good, I'm kind of glad that we got a baby attack instead of like a massive red men attack, because now I think the, the timer is probably reset. We don't have to worry about big raids here for another, at least, uh, I don't know, couple of couple of hours. Okay, so here's where another tower could be. We could just put two towers in each corner, maybe another tower over there by the water. And not like the prefab tower, I mean like building our own tower. And okay, here's where we've got to start going downhill it looks like. What is this looking like? Oh, that's um, it's pulling the ground right up. Which, I don't know that I like that. Can we, can we not do that? What if I go down again? Oh wow, that really does like vacuum up the ground. Whoops, nope, nope, I didn't want to cut that log in half there, really. Because that's, yeah, that's definitely not what we want here. Could I just prop it up with the quarter log, maybe? Is that... Oh, that's still like really high off the ground. Yeah, it just wants to do this now. It doesn't want to actually go back to like being flat on the ground like it was over here. Mm. I'll revisit that in a little bit. I'm, I'm going to work on the back side now. Maybe like worst case scenario, I can wrap it back around from the back end. And then connect it up here, because the problem is I can't, I can't just like, do this again. I guess I could, it just wouldn't be like, properly snapped together. Oh well, problem for later on today, I guess. So what I'm gonna do is just pull it kind of straight over to this lake here. And then see if we, what kind of a system we can come up with for the back side. The, the cannibals have never attacked from the other side of the lake, so not too worried about it. Get a good spot here for a tower, maybe. Yeah, here's where things get tricky. I think what we'll probably have to do for this section back here is just go straight. Just have a straight wall that kind of comes over this way and then maybe about right here kind of starts snaking back this way. Okay, I've made it back around and just sort of as an experiment, I'm kind of seeing what's going to happen when I link all these up. <laughs> if it's going to link up. I'm getting the sense now that it's probably not going to work. Yeah, if I just put... Oh! Oh, that, that actually did work as intended. Oh, wait. And then it just broke. Hold up here. What What's what's happening? What is going on? Oh, it, now it's just like... Just, just straight up kind of put it down at an angle. Huh. I'm getting very confused by this. Why is this happening? Alright, so that's what we'd be looking at on this side. It would be kind of an awkward tower. But this would be the far tower now. Then basically we could just build our tower up from this, I think, right? Just set up the four posts. Yeah, yeah, I think that would work just like that. And of course, I'm gonna defend the base of the tower with spikes. I will leave like a fighting position opening. Hmm, which, you know, we'll have to kind of experiment. We'll do the towers another day, but uh, I do wanna be able to kind of, uh, full visibility, right? I don't want any blind spots, no dead zones, nothing. I want full defense, full spikes, Full rocks and torches, 360 degrees around the base. You got that? All right, that was tower number four. Okay, the only thing that we have to do now is we've got to do the quarter logs on every single corner here. And then we got to put the top log across the top and should have, hopefully, plenty of logs left. All the storages are full right now. So let's get to work on that.
that's gonna have to do it for the building montage for now because we've got a cannibal party here. Whoops, off with the head. Very good start here. Virginia helping me out with that one. And let's see if we can get Oh! Whoa! Just got totally annihilated there. Oh, crap. Oh, man. Big boys, they've got me captive here. Oh, man, this is really not good. I haven't saved in ages. Okay, yep, cut myself down. We're just gonna have to book it to our supplies and then just hightail it out of here. Just, just, just don't look at me. Don't look at me. Don't hit me. Do nothing. Get my stuff. And yes, just open the inventory. Now would be the best time to actually put my regular armor on. Because now if I get hit, at least I can absorb a few hits before I die. And while I'm at it, heal me up with some painkillers. All right, and now we just run. Where the heck even am I right now? I am... Oh, home is right over this way. Phew, we made it back. Man, I must not have been paying attention to my health there. That is my bad. What are you doing here? Get the heck out of here. Not messing around with this guy anymore. All right, let me finish laying the tops on this fence, and then I'm gonna get some shut-eye. All right, a new day is here, and oh boy, it's autumn already. Wow, that went by fast. So the perimeter wall is complete. We still gotta work on the towers. The towers are framed out properly so that they're all level. We'll do the whole spike trick thing all around here. And... Uh, there are, these are like the, the areas here where it kind of stepped up to a higher elevation and then we continued that across. And then over here where we stepped down in elevation. Oh look, a, a, a burnt cannibal head. Maybe it's just painted, I'm not sure. I'm gonna put it up here for my collection. Oh, that one's, are they are they rotten? Is that what happens? They just kind of rot after a while. That would make sense. But I wanna, I wanna dismantle this. This is, uh, I'm done with this now. And we can use the supplies elsewhere. Where's Kelvin, anyway? I need him to help me clean this mess up. Come with me, and don't you dare shake your head at me. You haven't done any work for like two and a half days. Kelvin, you've been doing a terrible job over here. These stones are a complete mess. Cannibals are approaching. Looks like Virginia's gonna take right care of him, though. I'll leave her to it. Oh, now she's afraid. Where's the shotgun that I gave you? No way, did she lose my shotgun or did she give it back to me? I've got the shotgun. I thought I gave you the shotgun. <laughs> Ooh, ow. Oh my goodness, look out. Yes, this golden armor is pretty much awful, isn't it? Whoa, look out. Yeah, I don't really know that the golden armor does anything at all. It's, it's resoundingly bad. All right, katana warfare. Ooh, big boy here. Just, yeah, a couple of chop chops here and should be good. Are you done? Nice. Oh, the katana is actually really good. Oh, how's that for a parry? Take that. There you go. Welcome. You're not running for me. Oh, look at that from here. That looks pretty cool from here. We got a ton more real estate now. Oh, yeah. You see what's happening is he's going to put it into the holder. And he thinks he can get to it from down there, but I don't think that he can. Oh, that's kind of unfortunate. He doesn't know enough to come up here to put those things away. All right. So we'll have to work on a solution for that someday. All right, that's it for this section of sticks. Let's get the rocks on and call it good for today. All right, that's it. They're all leaned over into spikes now. At least we have partial defense on the attack, on the side that gets attacked the most. So I was hoping to get this project completed in this episode, but um, it's running on a very, very long recording time for me. So I think in the next episode, we will finish up the defensive wall and we'll finish up the zipline system that's gonna take us all the way to the glider. And then we'll probably start exploring the caves again. But anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, I think we can call it a night. Hey everyone, I just wanted to say thank you for watching, for leaving a like, but most of all, thank you to the long list of amazing supporters that you see right here. I hope this episode has earned your subscription and I can't wait to show you the next one. Best wishes to all and goodbye.